Good morning, guys. Uh, it is Saturday, uh, February 25th, because I am announcing that for the fact that I am at ZoloCon. Uh, it is now 6.49 a.m. I just arrived about a few minutes ago, uh, parked the car, engine's still on, uh, but I just decided to just sit in the car for a little bit. I commend the brave people that are I'm looking at right now that are standing in line. Uh, it's about one, two, three, four. It's about 10 of them. Uh, it's cold out. It's definitely cold out. My car says it is 24 degrees right now, and that... <laughs> That is cold. I mean, it's not so it's not so bad if you're really bundled up. But those guys out there, they're bundled up. Uh, hey, to each their own. And like I said, I commend them for standing out there. I will jump out there in a little bit. I am waiting for my good friend NJ Tree to arrive. Um, so we'll just stand in line together. Uh, but yeah, we're here. Uh, last night, uh, Jeremy Gerard and the other... Uh, four horsemen team they put up some pics of the table for the four uh the the mythic legions oh my god it's unbelievable it's like, i don't even know where to start so i'm i'm hoping we get some good stuff today from the mythic legions table uh i do have i don't know if i really have a list of anything that i'm really going to be looking for i would assume maybe some loose figures so maybe some loose marvel legends figures that i have either sold in the past that i could just have loose now um that i would love to have back in the collection or um anything that i just i haven't had at all so i i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens we'll see what's going on i think off the top of my head the marvel legends angela because i had that figure and that was a very very long time ago i would love to have that one again and the very old toy biz uh, Deadpool figure like the one with the X-Force card back I need that to go along with my new Marvel Legends X-Force uh, Deadpool so if I can find those that would be awesome but we're here this early mainly because of I have the VIP pass um, and we get in at 8 30 in the morning versus everyone else at general admission they get in at 10 o'clock in the morning and of course that's mainly for the Mythic Legions table and I can only assume that the guys out there right now are here for Mythic Legions because that's that's where the longest line starts and that's where it, <laughs> you, you spend most of the time at, at the Mythic Legions line. So, all right, rambled on enough. I will meet you inside, if not outside in the line, but we'll see what happens. So let's have a good day. Um, what do you guys think to If I do, uh, for Christmas, what do you guys think to The 
additional add-on of these guys like more of a, a very red color scheme. Yes. Yeah, but they're a little, you know, fish for if you're an ultimate V. Robo Force figures. Sitting at Phantasm Comics, as always, always bringing the goods, always at retail price, too. Always at retail price, he's awesome. Greg is a great guy. Got to go to a store one day. Look at that. Still got Webman here. $24.99 for Webman. That's a great price. Look at this. entrance area into the main hall and which there's the four horsemen table right there and this line that ends right here currently got to go back there again just to see what they could have put out but that's an overview 
got at the NECA table, because NECA is here. So they're going to have quite a bit of stuff. And we're going to take a look. Because they, they just wrap around all here. Head, leap. take sometimes. <laughs> we, I got, was lucky enough I made some shoes for him and we saw them and got some extra signatures. What's up guys, how's it going? So, what'd you think? What'd you think of the show? Uh, it's, it's, it's our typical toy show every year, ZoloCon. I love ZoloCon. Mike Zolotaro does an awesome job show running this place. So I've been going to this show practically every year, almost, almost. Um, but 
I always have a great time. It's always good to see him. Great to see all the vendors again. It's it's awesome. It's really cool. Uh, <laughs> spent some money, so as expected, what can you do when the four horsemen are there? And if you if you collect Mythic Legions, you you love the way they are. You just you you cannot not buy something from their table. It's it's unbelievable. But we did pick up some Mythic Legions. I picked up some Mythic Legions for some friends, and I picked up some other goodies too. And of course, while meeting up with all of my good friends over there, um, they grabbed they they gave me the uh, items that they went toy hunting. And uh, I have them also right here, so it's crazy, right? I'll actually go over that stuff as well. Um, so, for example, uh, NJ Tree. He, uh, NJ Tree was the one I was with um, when we were waiting in line in the morning and things like that. Um, but he did pick up a Python Patrol bat, uh, so which was the eleven forty nine price. So now I have. Uh, second bat which is nice um, and he did pick up the blue marvel for me because that was the 689 price so that's awesome right this crazy crazy price love the target clearance uh, this is what disavowed action figures picked up for me so he did get whoop, where are you there? All right, I'm ripping the bag open. So he did get Hawkeye for me right here, which was the uh, 11.49 price, right? So there's that for clearance. He got me the Viper for the 11.49 price, which is another steal right there. And of course, the last item he picked up. Once I untie it, there we go. He picked up Speedball. Awesome. Nice to have. Got my body part for controller. He picked that up for the $6.89 price. So, love the clearance, love the deals. I appreciate it, both of you, Tim and J Tree. Thank you so much for grabbing these for me just because I couldn't find them in my stores for that clearance price. So, awesome deals. Thank you. I appreciate it once again. Um, well, now when it comes to the show, got a couple things. Um, first off, uh, Chris started his, his Kickstarter is now live. It is the D thir D13 Toys. She's got a nice little pin here as well. D13 Toys is with this nice, lovely shirt, and on the back are the Biblical Adventures toy line. Um, there is, you guys saw it in the video, you can check out the Kickstarter because it is live right now. I saw these guys, I saw the, the, the assortment he had at Legion's Con and there's so much more on this table now so it's really really cool to see it. So congratulations Chris, I know we'll do well. Thank you for the shirt, I appreciate it. Um, I know Anthony and Walter were handing out shirts and I did get myself a large shirt and now I have a purple Cabal shirt, look at that very beautiful look at that cabal shirt so uh, i grab i got my shirt that i typically get it's kind of like a it, it's the thing you get all the time from walter it's all that's awesome um the mythic legions table we had the gladiator this is for unboxing art so he will be getting this as well as the slash figure that i got him and then this is for Scarlet Kid, the Dark Templar Knight. So he wanted a, another Dark Templar. So he will get that there. And what's best about these, these Legion Builders? They were 30 bucks, right? That is incredible, 30 bucks. Um, I didn't realize because I went to the table so many times, it's unbelievable. I did get the female Skeleton Builder right here. Look at that female skeleton builder that's awesome um even though this is a builder i think this was under the 40 dollars price range um so nice to have a, a, a female skeleton right um i got the goblin builder this was the 30 dollars price so got the goblin builder i'm actually gonna 
go back and forth with this goblin because I do have a frog head from a good friend Matt. Uh, so he he I'm gonna try painting that and try to work this one out. So there you go. There's a goblin building right there. Uh, I got Malafar. That's cool. Uh, I don't know is if he's more like because he's the size of a of a goblin, so you you can see that body type. But look at the head sculpt. That's really cool. Never thought I would pick this one up, but I did. So uh, now I'm stuck with it. So then um, I got uh, Belphegor. My God, look at this figure. I skipped out on him before, um, but now that I love more of the demon type characters, this this is so crazy, right? Look at that. That is awesome. He's gonna go well with the other like Arathir red soldiers and factions and stuff like that. So that's that's a really cool pickup. And then um, I got uh, what is it? Zarya, Zarya. Look at Zarya right there. Female demon. That's crazy. Um, she's not part of the Arathir faction. I can't, I can't remember what this this symbol was. But I have to thank articulated ninja because he was ahead of me he was in line ahead of me um and he messaged me asking if i wanted anything this was one of the figures that i saw uh and i was like if you could get this please do um because i told him at first i told him i was like look i think by the time i get up there there should be some available so i, I but i don't mind but he picked it up regardless he got it and luckily he did because by the time i got up there they were all sold out so I can't thank you enough, Articulated Ninja. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And of course, it was great to finally meet you. Awesome. Uh, it was cool, you and your family doing your thing. It was great, um, but we, I'm sure you had a great time. Thank you so much for this. And uh, such, uh, I'm glad I got something that, you know, I is more difficult to find. And harder to get so I'm glad I, I got these pickup pickups right here so really really cool uh, the last pickup I got was the Marvel select Red Hulk my god so I'm extremely happy with this because um, a local shop I went to uh, one they didn't have it and the other local shop I went to was asking for 45 on this and I'm like no I gotta find it for 30. I gotta find it for retail price. So luckily, uh, Vampire Toys booth or table, they had a selection of selects and surprisingly, they had the Red Hulk and I'm so happy he had it. Luckily, I picked it up with when I did because he had like six on his table at the time and I think I came back 20 minutes later and then he had two more left. So I was like, oh my God. So I went and picked it up and got, got that. And then there was one left and that one got picked up within five minutes. So he ran out of Red Hulks. He said he was gonna go get some and bring some in again because they, they sold fast. They sold really fast. So extremely happy I picked that one up. Um, and that was it. I think that was it. I grabbed everything that I know. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I actually have more stuff. But I'm gonna leave that to another video because it was more mail. I think you can see some of this brown right here. I got some mail. So we'll, we'll go over that on the next hunt video. But thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Zolocon is one of my favorite toy shows to go to. I hope you enjoy it. And maybe if you wanna check it out one day, I hope you can too. But thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Please help me reach that 5,000 subscriber goal. It would, be, it would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much. Hope to see you soon. And I hope to see you on the next time.